Hello friends, uh, in the previous lecture we have seen uh, how to uh, use the capabilities, different capabilities and in this lecture I am going to tell you how to inspect the Android apps and uh, after this uh, we will see how to launch the Android app and automate that app. Space. So uh, let us see how to inspect the Android app using UI Automator Viewer. It is very interesting and it is uh, very important uh, that you understand this lecture because with the help of this uh, UI Automator Viewer you can understand the hierarchy and what all elements are being used in the app. So uh, this UI Automator Viewer is one tool that comes with the Android SDK and that SDK uh, tool is available in this particular directory tools slash bin so in the SDK directory Android home. So this is my Android home in uh, Mac and uh, inside that there is tools and bin directory over there you will find this UI Automator Viewer. So you can launch that so here I have used and it means that uh, this particular program or process will run in the background because uh, when you launch it uh, this is how it looks like you are not interested in the console output of that process that's why I have used and operator over there and uh, sometimes you might uh, encounter errors when you launch this uh, process so what you have to do is you have to go to this directory and then launch it from there or if it doesn't fix the problem even then then uh, you might have to change your JDK because uh, latest JDK is not compatible with UI Automator Viewer I guess so I was using 1.8 and then it was compatible with 1.8.0.15 uh, something like that so you have to make sure that you use the correct JDK otherwise you might get some errors so once you launch that as I uh, showed you this is how the layout looks like to get the screenshot of the current uh, app you can just click on this button and then it will uh, show the app details uh, in the screen so what we are going to do now is uh, we are going to uh, take the screenshot of the this screen so let us see if it captures or not so what you have to do is uh, go to this particular UI automator viewer UI and then before you hit this button you have to go to the correct screen for which you want to uh, know the source for example let us go to calculator so uh, if you come here in the calculator or you can open any app uh, there is no instruction as such for any app it should work so if you click here what happens is uh, it takes the screenshot of currently uh, open app on the emulator And uh, this is very classical error that you might get. Error file obtaining UI here again. There are different types of error codes that can happen. So in that case, what you have to do is you have to use the page source. As I said in this article, you can see you may get error saying that uh, error obtaining UI hierarchy while obtaining the UI hierarchy XML file when using UI Automator Viewer. In this case, what you can do is get the source code of the app using this this thing driver dot page source so if any do driver dot page source it also outputs the xml that is being seen here let me show you that there so you can see this this structure here so all this information uh, is actually the, this is basically the xml so xml is printed in the console of the program when you do this page source get page source that's how you can find more details of the elements if this particular method doesn't work i have seen that it doesn't work most of the times so i just rely on page source method uh, of the uh, apm and sometimes restarting the system also works because uh, when you launch the emulator adb and uh, apm is actually creates the session with the emulator and then that might interfere with the ui automator viewer so that's why uh, this uh, error might come so restart the pc and then just start ui automator viewer and the emulator that's it then uh, this should work so that's it uh, in this particular video if you have more questions uh, let me know through the comments thank you for watching this video